Hey, it's Matt again. I'm doing a little update video on my 10 gallon aquarium. Seems like a lot of people were interested in my tank from my the few videos I posted originally in the beginning of the year. As you can see, my tank has changed considerably. Um, I know a lot of people want some updates on the shrimp. They were kind of curious where I got the shrimp. So, uh, this is my new setup. Uh, I got some live plants in there now. Um, some new hides. Uh, moss ball. It's, it's uh, cut up, cut off like a halved one. Cheaper, I got it for free. Um, there was some Egeria Densa in here, which is a live plant. They're like, they're long, skinny, and then they, the, they get buds off the sides of them throughout the stalk. Um, the, my snails decided that they love Egeria, and they destroyed them. So, Egeria's all gone. Um, I don't remember the names of these other plants, because they're just scientific names. I don't know common names of plants. I'm not really a plant guy. I only know the basics. But they're nice. They've been in the tank... Two weeks now. There's also some, uh, there's little... These little things, these are from Walmart. Some root balls. They really haven't sprouted anything, really. There's like... I think there's like a one, I don't know if you probably can't even see it. There's like one little strand somewhere like right there in the middle. That little white thing in the middle, that's one of them. So that's all that I've gone out. Moved some stuff around, cleaned out the tank, did a water change. Everything's good, pH is good, stabilized. The plants help a lot. You know, fish. So now I have four... Still, I have four Blue Donio Longfin variety. One of them died after this past water change. Just too much stress. You can see there's one down there. I kind of occasionally for the treat of them little mini mealworms I have laying around. This guy's chowing out. He's just being a hog. You can tell they're definitely a lot thicker. I wouldn't say necessarily bigger longer wise. I just think thicker wise. I do believe I do have a sex pair. Um, that little one, the little thin one, that actually, I believe, is a male. So I have one male. That's why he's, like, chasing all these females around. See, these are thicker. All of them are thicker. Those are the females. They're, like, kind of like tanks. And the little guy in the middle is actually a male. And I only found that out recently. The bad thing is, is with Danios, is apparently they pair off. So it's a male-female pair. And they stay bonded, which means that I don't think I'll see any breeding just because of the fact that there are many females and there's only one male. They're not going to pair off. He kind of, I know, I do notice he chases around a bit, which is what he's doing now. He's probably trying to do his thing. Um, let's see, there's snails, some black apple steels, one there, and the there. And you know, you can see I have ghost shrimp again. I last time my colony died off. Bad stock. Um, a lot of people were curious about care, how to get them. So I guess I'll do a little thing on everything. So these are ghost shrimp. I don't remember the scientific name. Grass shrimp, glass shrimp, that's kind of their double names. Generally, you'll find them in pet stores, but they'll be feeder shrimp. So sometimes you'll have, they'll just see. In the aquarium section will be like 40 cents feeder shrimp because they generally are a feeder shrimp, the Farcarnivorous species. Not kept as pets generally, but surprisingly, they're really, if you want to get into shrimp, these are the best ones. Probably best beginner. Last time I had issues because my tank wasn't cycled, I didn't realize you're going to have to want to get it cycled for at least six months or so. Um, let's see. As you can see, they're kind of swimming around. That is a peppered baby Cory cat. And also, let's see how I can find. Um, back there is my Chinese algae eater. Now, there's two reasons. There's a reason. Actually, yeah, two reasons. One is you kind of notice it's trickling a bit up there. Yeah, my thing's kind of dirty too. Um, that would be because. Of all the plant matter, it actually suctioned up 
through the site um, intake and cause a big mess. A lot of water is having an issue getting through. Um, the tank's clean though. I do have them in there that keep the debris down. They are doing a pretty good job. They eat. Cory cats tend, I guess, tend to be a structure. So they tend to be on like the like driftwood and stuff. But I don't have any of that, so he kind of usually just swims around. Alligator, I always see. He's always around munching on something. Um, the plants are good. Plant, plants keep the oxygen level up, which is good, especially if you have a dirty tank. It helps also eat away any waste, helps to keep down waste. Now with the shrimp. They usually go around a couple, not that, I mean, usually, I think, I got these guys for like 40 cents a piece. So, and there's like tw 19, there was 20, one died. There's good amount of them in there. Oh yeah, wait, there's one uh, little plant growing. Um, there's moss ball in there. They like to forage on it. It's nice, it's round, it's bright color. It does its job. These guys are kind of cool because they're generally clear colored. I mean, they are clear colored, but if you notice, these larger ones are starting to take on some of the color of the surroundings of the tank. And they also, because I think it's also from with the food, and since I have pretty high, high quality, decent fish food, it's usually they take in some interesting colors. There's some little ones in the back there, you can see kind of crowd around all over the place. They're usually, in the p They're usually I can find some of the plants. Oh, there's one of my dents, uh, my dead one. I'll stick it out there. I'm usually on the tanks. You'll find them in the tubes. I got the little rock in there, though sometimes in there. So, here's the, here's the thing. With the shrimp, I find, I quickly found out, you want to make sure that when you get them, they're in an established tank. They're doing well. That's what happened with my last time. They were not in. They were not doing well. I bought a couple of them. They died on me. These who I, I bought them off of are actually a local local place. Uh, Pet Supplies Plus, nice place. Pretty. I, I haven't any every issues. They usually have pretty good stuff. They have a lot of. They have even some reptiles there. A little, little bit of everything. Pretty decent prices, pretty nice people. They actually, I the people there that work there actually know what they're doing, unlike some of the other places, you know, Petco, PetSmart. Um, really nice, really nice guy hooked me up with these guys. He, uh, in the tank, a lot had, there's some, some different sizes. You can see some larger ones, there's some little ones. He definitely says that they were probably breeding in that tank. There was tons of them in there, all doing well. I didn't see any dead ones, that's the key thing with these things. You do not want to get in a tank that looks like they're dying, that they're not doing well, you find a lot of dead ones. Bright, you know, here's the thing, you want them to be clear. You don't want anything that has any sort of cloudiness. So, yeah. And I think the last time I did uh, this, like, uh, males are, th I guess, I don't know if you want to say thinner, they're like, the females have, the, have like the hump. And I think you can probably, uh, let's see. It's hard to tell on these guys. Sometimes the little ones, they look a little... I mean, it looks like I got a lot of... Let's see, that would probably be a female right there, that one. See the little hump? It's because they get a saddle. They get eggs. I don't... think any of them have eggs yet. I haven't really noticed. I haven't paid attention. There's a lot of them. I mean, you can see the food in their guts, so sometimes it looks like... I mean, I got some pretty good size adults in here. There's some smaller ones. These are probably as big. So they're probably mm, about an inch the most. But there was a lot of mixed ones in the tank I bought them from. So there's definitely probably reproducing, which is good. If you ever find animals that are actually reproducing in the tank that they're being sold out of, that's a pretty good sign that they're doing well. Um, I kind of rigged up these PVCs. Washed them very clear, very uh, thoroughly before they were put in the tank. Those are fine. Most everything's in there. Uh, I'm going to upgrade to a new filter. And right, here's the reason why. This is a Pet Smart tank. So, meaning I will have to get anything 
for this filter straight to PetSmart. So, which kind of means it's becoming an issue. Every time I need filters, I have to go run to PetSmart, and hopefully they have this specific size. So, I'm going to do probably a Marineland Bio Wheel. Uh, Dr. Sm Foster's, excuse me, Smith is a great, pretty good online dealer. I got a few catalogs from them before. They sell everything, so yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know what else. Uh, seems like my heater is back and working again. I was having some issues with it. Um, it wasn't turning on. The water was cold. It's now warmer. It's at least at least considerably warmer. Let's see. Mine's like right now hitting at 80. So yeah, it's pretty much at the highest I really want it to go. You don't want it going anything higher than 80. If you want to see something cool, there's a little, 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 little bitty ghost shrimp in there. Um, I don't know. To, I know breeding, but the thing is, I guess with these, I got someone saying that they have larval. Someone else says no, they'll lay live babies, just like the Neocardinia. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, now that this tank's doing better, the temperature's raised up. I'm seeing a lot more activity in my tank. Fish are doing well. Shrimp are fairly active. No deaths. Only death was contributed to a stress. So, yeah, everything's doing well. Um, I think by Christmas I am going to try to do the invertebrate tank. So, might see some vampire crabs in the future. Otherwise, I'll probably do a 